What is going on guys? I am back with part 5 on how to build this suburban house and in this video I plan on finishing the interior layout for the second floor of the building. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing this staircase which is going to lead up to the second floor. So you're going to want to grab some dark oak wood stairs, dark oak planks, blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, and I would recommend getting a potion of night vision. So I'm going to start with my dark oak wood stairs first. I want to make sure I'm lined up with this white concrete, so one block away from the door frame. And I'm going to place two stairs like that, and then two more layers, so it's three in total. Then I'm going to switch to my dark oak planks and place four in the corner. And then I'm going to turn it in this direction and I'm going to continue bringing up more stairs. And then you want to reach the ceiling like that. You can start out by deleting all of this white concrete. And then you can fill in these two spaces with stairs. And then two more above the white concrete. So I have one, two, three, four, and five stairs in total going up in that direction. And then three down here. Okay, now I want to delete two more spaces of white concrete right next to the staircase. Okay. So it should be looking like that as of right now. So we just brought it up three that way. Then we placed four turn to the right and brought it up five okay so after you have the staircase looking like this you can then switch to your blocks of quartz and place one right along the sides of all of the stairs going all the way up okay and then you can switch to your quartz stairs and place them on top of all of the blocks upside down Okay, now you can switch to your quartz slabs, go underneath the staircase and just cover up all of the space like this, fill in the four spaces here and then just continue going up. Okay, so there we go, it's looking like that as of right now. Then what you could do is delete one more block of white concrete at the ceiling. So you just want to delete 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then you could turn all of this in and continue deleting all of this. Then you could switch or make sure you still have your quartz slabs and place 3 more underneath that. Then you could switch back to your quartz stairs. We'll start right here and place them upside down right along the edge of the white concrete. Okay, so there we go. We have a small little opening so we could go up the staircase like that. So from down below, we have the staircase done and then we have the little opening looking like that so far. Okay, now for the walls where the staircase is, as you can see, we got to continue bringing it up right here. So I'm going to grab some light gray concrete and I just want to place two more layers on top of the gray concrete that we already have. So I'm just going to go around in this area and fill just two spaces in until we reach that quartz stair. Then I'm going to do the same until we reach the court stair right here. Okay, so there we go. We have it patched up in that corner. It was like that, but now we have it patched up. Okay. Now you could get some white concrete. You could also grab a dark oak, like, uh, or not dark, but uh, spruce wood like that. And then you could also get some light gray terracotta or you could just feel free to use whatever block you want and i'm going to replace the quartz slabs okay so first off you could get your block of quartz 
you could place three right here so we uh were lined up with the railing for the staircase here then we placed one block here and then two next to it so it's three in total and it's right on top of the court stairs here okay now we could go ahead and start doing the well i guess we could start doing yeah we'll start doing the walls so first off as you can see we st were if you were to like have this as the floor for whatever reason you have light gray concrete here but we are going to continue bringing our floors right along here so the wall is actually going to start at this layer so we're one block underneath the window right now so you can switch to your white concrete and just place a strip like this all the way around and we'll just do this until we reach the wall on this side and we'll just continue bringing it along right here we are going to have a doorway right there and right there but just for right now let's go ahead and just wrap this white concrete all the way around and as you can see i didn't fill in these corners we'll just leave them empty for now and i believe we are just going to completely leave them empty so we're not going to be filling in these corners okay then you can continue bringing this right across here keep in mind we are going to have a doorway there and then it should meet up there so i have like this rectangular shape with the white concrete for the middle section of the second floor now you can switch to your spruce wood and place one block on top of all of the white concrete that you just placed okay so there we go now you can switch to whatever block you were going to use for example i'm going to be using light gray terracotta and i'm going to place one two three four blocks on top of the spruce wood so i'm going to go all the way around and place four blocks on top of all of that so i'm just going to go all the way around and then we'll have the walls for the middle section for the second floor of the building and then we can start doing the floors which i believe is just a bunch of dark oak planks and then we are going to have a bathroom in that little area this right here is going to be a bedroom and then we have a hallway going right across here and then we have a laundry room and then another bedroom and um bathroom so i'm going to continue bringing these walls all the way around Okay, so there we go. I went around and did all of the walls for this area. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is start filling in all of the floors with your dark oak planks. So first off, we have three spaces of quartz here. You actually only need two because we're going to have the wall for the second floor, like the layout. We're going to have a wall on top of these quartz stairs okay and then first off or like the next thing you want to do we have these corners here first you could delete this and then you could delete the white concrete right here so we're right behind the pillar then you could go ahead and just fill in all the walls here so you don't have that little corner just like jutting out like it was it's just like a regular corner now so you could do the same over here you could delete this little corner then delete the white concrete that's behind it and then replace it with the wall so it's just a perfect corner there's not like a block jutting out so it looks like that okay so now you can switch to your dark oak planks we'll start filling in all of the floors and like i said don't cover up the quartz stairs here and it looks like we got to bring up this railing one more block 
So place two blocks of quartz and then a quartz stair. Okay, so now you can continue filling in your dark oak planks for the floors like this. Okay, so I filled in all of the floors with my dark oak planks. So as of right now, you go up the staircase and it should look like this. Just a big open area. So we're going to have a wall going across to right here. Then we're going to have a doorway leading into a bedroom here. We're going to have a door cut out here for the bathroom. And then when you walk up the staircase, like I said, we're going to have a wall and a doorway here. Then there's going to be a hallway. Then we're going to turn to the right. There's going to be a laundry room here. And then if you look to the left, there's going to be another doorway leading off to that bedroom and bathroom. And then right next to the laundry room, we're going to have a wall here and a staircase going up to that space. And that's going to be the master bedroom. But as of right now, you should have this. So all we really did was, or is, <laughs> uh, we brought up this staircase, so three blocks. Then we have four here. And then we went up five. And then we have our floors and our walls. That's all we did so far. So now we can start to actually doing the layout. So all the walls on the inside, which is going to shape out the house. And then we could do like all of the doorways and stuff too. I'll probably do that first. And then we can start doing the walls. But as of right now, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to start by shaping out all of the walls first. And then we can start doing the doorways. So first off, we're going to start where we have these quartz stairs. You want to switch to whatever block you used at the bottom layer. So for me, it's a light gray concrete. And you can place one layer on top of all the stairs. Like that. So it's still on the same layer as that. That's the only reason why we used the light gray concrete there. Is because we're still on this layer down below. Now you can switch to your white concrete. And you want to place 18 blocks starting here and going all the way to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So as you can see, we have four spaces remaining over here. Okay. Now, you could go ahead and leave off where you placed your last block. Bring this all the way in until you have two spaces away from that wall. So we have two spaces remaining there. Okay, so now this is going to be where our bedroom is. We're also going to have a staircase here, so you could delete two blocks right at the edge of this. So we just have a strip of white concrete there and right there. Then, after you cut out those two spaces, you then want to skip over three more blocks. On the fourth block, you could cut out four spaces, like that. So now we're right up against the, uh, the quartz here. So from up above, you should have three spaces there. Or like three blocks there, and then a gap of four and a gap of two. So it should look like this. Okay, now you can switch to your spruce wood and place a layer on top of the white concrete. So we're just going to be mashing it up with all the other walls. And then you could place four more layers of uh, light gray terracotta on top of the wood or whatever block you're using. So I have one, then two. Now we're going to do the third one. And then we just have one more and it should meet up with the same layer or like at the same layer that we already had. So right there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get some pillar quartz blocks. So I'll replace our stairs for now. And then you could also get some buttons. And we're going to do the doorway here. So you can switch to your pillar, place one, two, three on each side. And then the fourth block is going to be a corner. 
fill in the two spaces with sideways blocks and then cover up the corners with buttons. And then you can switch to your light gray terracotta and place two layers on top of the door. Okay, so there we go. So if you walk up the stairs, we're starting to get the shape of the hallway. So, we, so like I said, we have a bedroom here. And then we have a staircase that's going to be here. And then right down here at the end, we're going to have a little laundry room. And then off here to the left is going to be a door leading off to the bedroom and bathroom. So as of right now, if I look up above again, this is what you should have. It's a little hard to see, but we just have a solid wall going right across here. And then we skip two spaces, and then we have a wall there. So right now, that is what it's looking like. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put another wall right here right next to that one so we have our shape for our staircase so i'm just gonna go right behind this corner here with my white concrete and oh whoops that's not white with my white concrete we could just bring this all the way back until this corner and just fill it in like that and then you could switch to your wood place a layer on top of that and then you could place let's see we'll do four more layers of light gray terracotta but we are going to need to cut out a little shape so we could turn our staircase and have it going up in that direction a little bit so from up above we have a shape like this so obviously the bedroom and then the staircase area now i'm going to switch to my white concrete and we're not actually going to have it one block above everything else we're going to have it on the same layer as the top block of light gray terracotta so we just have one block of space above the windows so i'm gonna go ahead with my white concrete and fill in all of the ceilings then we can start doing the staircase for the attic area which is going to lead up to the master bedroom Okay, so I filled in all of the ceilings. So as of right now, it looks like this. And I saw something back here. Oh, I never completely brought up this block here. I don't know why, but make sure to fill that in. I don't know why I did that. I don't know how that happened. Okay, and then what we're going to want to do right here is we could switch to our white concrete fill in two spaces there and then two spaces there okay now you could go ahead and switch to your wood do the same and then your light gray terracotta just bring it all the way up okay so like that we just have one block of space remaining on that side of the window okay so like i said that's going to be the laundry room i try to use like every single area in this house as well as i can or as well as i could and yeah normally with a house like this in like my previous tutorials like my older tutorials i would have probably had only like one or two bedrooms in this house and maybe like one bathroom but i decided like i said in part one to use as much space as i can and to put more times toward the layout and i was able to squeeze in four bedrooms and four bathrooms so i'm pretty happy with that but now let's go ahead and start bringing up the stairs for the staircase so i'm then going to get some dark oak wood stairs again start right here at the edge and we'll bring this up five in total Okay, so that's five. Let's go ahead and delete all of this white concrete here. Okay, and then you could place... Oh, wait, get some dark oak planks and place four here. And then you can start turning the staircase in this direction like that. So just two layers and that's it. So if we go down here, 
we have five going up. And then we have four blocks. We turn to the right and we have two. Okay, so there we go. That is what the staircase is going to be looking like. Let's make sure we have everything patched up, which we do. So we're good. Okay. And let's see. Let's go ahead and start doing the doorway here for the laundry room. So I'm going to get my pillar quartz block. I'll switch out the I'll switch out the wood again. Get a button as well. And then we're going to go one block away from this corner, so start right here. We're going to bring this up 3 blocks. And then the fourth block is going to be the corner. And then two spaces going across in the middle. And then the corners are going to be covered up with buttons. Then the top layer above the door is going to be filled in with light gray terracotta. So now we have the door for the laundry room. We're going to have like the washer and dryer right there in this corner area. Then we're going to have some storage on this wall. Which... I think we have to shift that over one block or something. I don't know. I think I think I had this doorway just one block wide actually. So I have to check back at that. But as of right now, we'll just leave it. That's what it's looking like. But just keep in mind this is going to be a laundry room. And I guess we could go ahead and start doing the doors for the bathroom and then the door for that room over there. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the doorway for the bathroom and bedroom that we're going to have here. So, this doorway is actually fine. I did have it two spaces. I just had like all the storage like right up against the, the door frame is there. I'm not sure if I left the button, but we'll check back that or check back at that later. But you want to make sure you leave one block of space here from that doorway. Start on the second block and cut out four. And then bring this up four in total, so three more like that. So we leave one block of space up there. And then we're going to have a doorway leading to this. So this is going to be a bedroom. And then off here to the left is going to be a bathroom. And I brought the floors down one more block. So we're going to have like a half slab here. And it's going to just go down, like step down. And then we're going to have the actual floors. So instead of the floors being all the way up there, they're going to be one block underneath the windows like they normally would. So let's go ahead and do the door frame. So switch to your pillar quartz block. Place, whoops, place three on each side. And then the fourth block is going to be the corner. Fill in two spaces and then we're going to have some buttons there. Then, this doorway is going to be two blocks thick. So we can add another layer behind this, like the first frame. And you also want to bring it down one more block on the second layer. Because like I said, we're going to have a step down right here. So we need to have that extra block going down. So I mean, I guess you could just bring it all down so it's not as confusing. So it looks like that. Okay, so there we go. Now we have that door frame for the room leading into here. So it should look like that. Okay, now leading off from the stairs, let's head on to this bedroom. And we're going to start cutting out the door here for the bathroom that's going to be leading off of this. So I want to make sure I have one block of space right here. Then you could cut out two spaces and make sure to cut out three after that. So it's four in total. And at the top, you could place upside down quartz stairs. I didn't have a door frame around this because as far as I remember, I can't have a doorway or a door frame. So actually, I don't know. Can I? We'll do this. And then this side, we'll do the same thing. We just can't have it two blocks thick. Because we have, that's the exterior concrete right there. So I mean, I guess you could have a door frame here. It just can't be, can't be two blocks thick. So let's see. 
All right, I mean, I guess that works. I didn't really think of that last time, but that could be the door frame for the bathroom. Okay, we could actually... I think I'm gonna leave the stairs there. So I'll just leave it like that. And then, yeah, this is going to be a bathroom and the floors are going to be like one block lower. So we're gonna have a step down right here. But yeah, we have that door frame now. And let's see, I mean, I guess we could actually start doing these rooms now so as of right now just make sure you have all of the door frames you have the walls for this middle section and the staircase so it looks like this as of right now okay now let's head back on into this bedroom and i'm gonna start doing the bathroom so first off i'm just gonna clear my inventory and i'm gonna grab some dark oak wood slabs i'm gonna place two right here in between the doorway as you can see, we actually have to bring these pillars down. So just one more on each side. So there we go. And then you could grab some chiseled quartz blocks. Go one more block underneath the slab here. So we have the main floor, then a slab, and then we have our chiseled quartz. So you can fill in all the floors for the bathroom with chiseled quartz. And then the walls are going to be white concrete. And then we're going to have the ceiling with white concrete as well. But we're also going to have some quartz stairs. And actually, we're not going to be using white concrete for the ceiling. We're going to have blocks of quartz. So I'll show you that in a second. So let me fill in all of these floors. So we have this all patched up. It's going to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. I think I almost have it. Just this little corner here. okay almost there we go so now we have the floors for the bathroom now let's go ahead and grab some quartz stairs blocks of quartz and white concrete whoops so we have our white concrete and i'll go ahead and fill in well let's see we could delete that right so I'll fill in two spaces here, and then I'll bring this right across. Like that. And then I, I doubled up the wall over here, even though it is still white concrete, because we have to cover up those quartz stairs. And what I did was had a quartz stair below and above the window like that to add more detail. Switch back to your white concrete. Start right here, so like right in front of the window. Bring this right across as well as here it looks like uh we're gonna have to double this up so that's why i didn't have the door frame because i wasn't able to double it up so let's see what could we do here i guess the door frame could still work kind of so we'll just um we'll bring this up a little bit because, yeah, that's why I didn't have the door frame because it doesn't really work. So we have two spaces on that side, one space on that side. And then we just brought our white concrete all the way across and around. Okay, so now we want to switch back to our white concrete and place one more layer on top of that. So it's two in total. And then we'll fill in this entire wall with white concrete as well. Go back here have one more layer and we'll fill in these spaces also and this is going to be covered up with quartz so let's go ahead and have three spaces of quartz at the ceiling we can fill all the space in is the middle just right down the middle three spaces of quartz Okay, so there we go. And then, yeah, I guess I'll leave the door frame. It does look a little weird. But I'll leave it, because why not? And then you could go ahead and get some quartz stairs, and we'll place two layers. So just go right across here. And then we'll have a layer down below as well. Skip the window. And then we're going to fill in four spaces above the window there. So it's all patched up. 
And can we delete this? No, so that's gonna be blocks of quartz. So we have two layers of quartz stairs on that side. We'll do the same over here. So we'll do the bottom layer first to make sure to skip the window. Then we'll go up here, bring it right across. And then we'll go to the window and fill in four spaces at the top like that. Okay. So yeah, I really don't like how the door frame looks since it's like so it looks uneven because that side's taller because it's all cut off. You could have it if you want. I'll go ahead and leave it. But I just thought it looked a little weird to have a door frame on that door. So yeah, this is the bathroom for this bedroom now leading off. And now we can start doing the bathroom and bedroom at this side. Okay, so first off, let me get a block of dark oak planks. We'll place two right there at one half of the doorway then we'll switch to our slabs place two more in between the doorway now i'm going to switch to my dark oak planks and just fill in all of the floors and keep in mind we are going to have a bathroom here but just right now we'll completely fill this all in with our wood floors it's going to make it a lot easier to do everything else and it's going to look a lot more clean instead of having like all of these gaps it just looks all over the place right now so we'll just completely cover up every bit of space at the bottom with dark oak planks so we have our floors done. And then we'll make adjustments later. For example, the bathroom is going to be chiseled quartz. So we'll just have to delete some of the wood planks and replace it with that. But yeah, just as of right now, let's just completely fill it all in and then we'll start doing everything else. Okay, so there we go. Oh, we got to get our potion. So I completely filled in this space with dark oak planks. So as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. So we're going to be able to see a lot better what we're doing. So we are going to have just a little wall going right across here for the bathroom. And then everything else is just going to be open. Keep in mind, we are going to have some walls covering up all of this with some stairs as well. But overall, we are just going to have a little separation here for the bathroom and the bedroom. But yeah, as you can see, we have the floors done and it looks a lot better. Now we can start bringing up the walls. Okay, so now for the walls, I used cyan concrete. So I'll start over here. If you're looking at the doorway, we have, we're, we're on the right side. So I'm going to place one, two, three, four blocks like that. We'll bring this all the way across. You just want to have five spaces after this window. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're right on the edge of that stair there. Bring this out three, and then bring it all the way across to this other side. Don't fill in that, we won't worry about that. We'll just start it here, and just continue wrapping this all the way around until you reach the other side of the doorway. So like that. So we have two spaces re or like showing on that side, then three spaces showing on this side, but we still have the corner filled in. Okay. So, like I said, this is going to be the bathroom, so we kind of like shaped it out already. We're going to have like our bed here, and then kind of like a little sitting area here since I had extra space remaining left over. So now I'm going to place one more layer of cyan concrete on top of all of this for now and then we'll add any more blocks later so for example this wall will completely fill all of this in all right let's continue bringing this all the way across and then for example this wall is obviously going to be taller but we'll just place an extra layer on it for now so that so everything's all the same. All we did was filled in that entire wall because I know for a fact that's going to be filled in. So as of right now, this is what it's looking like. We have two layers of cyan, concrete, and then we kind of just like shaped out the room. We're going to have the bathroom there. So this is what it's looking like. 
Okay, so now let's fill in this wall right here where we have our door. I forgot to I forgot to do this. And then what I'm going to do is grab some quartz stairs. And I want to go all the way around and place three layers of quartz stairs to cover up all of the wood. So I'll start at the left side of the doorway here. We'll place one layer. Make sure to skip the window for now. And then we'll curve it here into that wall. We'll go up... We'll go up on the other layer and do the same thing. This time we're going to bring it right across, the, like above the window like that. And then we want to go up one more layer, bring this all the way around and do the same thing again. And stop it right there. So we have three layers of quartz stairs at the top. Let's grab some blocks of quartz to patch up this window with four spaces. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Well, first, let's use our cyan concrete and continue bringing up this wall. We'll just follow along all of the wood. Okay, so it's not going to be this tall because we are going to have some blocks of quartz right here. So it's going to be covering up all of this. But as of right now, we brought that all the way up. Let's use our quartz stairs. And we'll skip the window on the first layer. On the second layer, we're going to bring it right across, as well as the third layer. And then four blocks of quartz. So there we go. That's all we're going to be doing for that side. This side, we wrapped it all the way around. And then this side, we're going to have three layers. And it's going to just stop just like this on each side. So there we go. You can then switch to your blocks of quartz. As you can see, we're gonna be filling in three spaces up above here. So you could just do that for all of the space until you reach that door. I gotta use my potion, hang on. All right, so let me bring this all the way back. So it's gonna patch up everything. As you can see, we covered up the corner of the door frame on that side, but I'll go ahead, go ahead and have a button on the right corner. Did I do the buttons on this side? Yes, I did. So we just have one button right there at the right. Okay, so there we go. We have all the walls and like the ceilings for this room. Then you could get some blocks of quartz, or pillar quartz blocks, I mean. We're going to have two spaces of blocks remaining on this right side and then we're going to cut out four bring it up another three so it's four in total and then we're going to have the doorway for the bathroom here so three layers on each side and then the fourth block is going to be the corner and these doors are going or like this doorway is going to be two blocks thick because we have different colored walls for the bathroom Okay, let's cover up the corners with buttons. Okay. So the reason why that door looks taller is because we had the step down. So that's the only reason why. Or else if you look at it from the other side, it is still three blocks in height. Well, four in total, basically. All right, so there we go. We have the layout for this bedroom. And then all we have to do are the walls and ceilings for the bathroom. All right. So I guess I'll just hurry up and do that. So I'm going to use white concrete in here. We'll start at the right side of this doorway. We'll just fill this all in. And then bring it right across here. Do the same on this wall. And then don't fill in all that space. Just start it here. And then bring it right up until that door frame. So we have four spaces still showing. Like that's how wide it is and then we're one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks in length Then let's add one more layer of white concrete on top of this Okay, and then let's go ahead and continue filling in this entire wall around the window And let's go ahead and have upside down quartz stairs there at the top. I'll do the same at this side. So it just adds a little bit more detail. 
let's continue back on to the bathroom and then we'll fill in this entire wall as well with white whoops wait that's oh yeah it looked really weird it looked like a quartz for some reason with white concrete we'll fill this entire wall in above and around the doorway okay now you can switch to your quartz stairs we'll have one whoops two and three layers on each side and then the space in the middle will fill in with three layers of blocks of quartz one block higher and there we go now oh wait first we have to carve out all of this wood and replace it with chiseled quartz blocks so that's going to be the floors for the bathroom you normally don't have wooden floors for a bathroom unless they're like laminate floors but let's see oh wait chiseled quartz all right let's fill all of this in and then that'll be it for this bedroom and bathroom then we can head on to the attic and we could do the master bedroom and then we're gonna have a small bathroom up there as well so that is this and then we have this room which is fairly big i was gonna make this into the master bedroom but then I decided to just make a staircase right here and use the attic space, which I was not planning on doing. But then I decided to, or then I was able to have like a huge bedroom up here. I had a fireplace and then I had a bathroom on this side. But now, yeah, let's go ahead and start doing this room up here. And then that's going to be it for part five on how to build this suburban house. Okay, now for the attic, we'll start with the staircase area first. So you can switch to your quartz stairs. You just want to make sure you have four blocks of white concrete. And then you can place two upside down quartz stairs right at the edge. All right. Then you may have deleted these blocks here. You could go ahead and fill that in with your light gray terracotta like that. Now you could grab some spruce wood blocks. We'll place one layer all the way around the staircase like this. And then we'll bring it into there and then like bring this over two more layers so it's three in total on that side we're gonna double up this wall here so it's two blocks thick so if I go up above the staircase I'll look at it from like this side you should have blocks of wood like that okay so now the rest of the walls that I used up here was white concrete. So first off, let's switch to our dark oak planks. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all of the floors. I'll stop it right here at the edge because we are going to have a bathroom here. So starting right here, I'm just going to fill in all of the floors on the same layer as the staircase. So all of this room like all of this space is going to be dark oak planks for now keep in mind we are going to have a fireplace on this side so let me go ahead and do all of this and then i'll see you guys when i'm ready to do the next step Okay, so there we go. I filled in this area with dark oak planks. We are going to have a fireplace at this wall. So we're going to have some bricks for like around the fireplace on this side. But just for right now, we'll leave it all with wood. Okay, so the next thing that I did is we could switch to our white concrete. We'll place a layer on top of the wood. okay and then we could go ahead start right here and bring this white concrete all the way around we'll stop it here for now since we are going to have a fireplace for this entire wall and then we'll start it up over here bring it right across and then i'll go ahead and stop it well i had these walls white concrete as well so you could bring this all the way in this is going to be the bathroom all right and then fill in this since we're going to be covering up the exterior wall. And then you could go ahead. I had the bathtub on this side. I don't really remember what I did. 
Maybe we could bring this all the way in and we'll just stop it there for now. We'll uh, fill in those spaces as well. So you could actually just like completely fill this in. That's not going to be used because we had the bathtub right there. Okay. So, as of right now, that's what we got. You could go ahead and add one more layer of white concrete on top of this all the way around. So it's going to be two in total. I believe for this wall, we can bring it out one more layer like that so we cover up the wood. Wrap this all the way around. Is that we're going to be using our quartz stairs. We're going to start doing the ceiling. But we'll stop it there for now. Let's add one more layer on this little middle section. Let's go ahead and fill in the floors for the bathroom with chiseled quartz blocks. So I'll just start it right here for now. We are going to have like a little, it's kind of like a little hallway leading off into the bathroom. But for now, we'll just have this rectangular shape with chiseled quartz blocks. And then we'll worry about everything else afterwards. So I'm going to start doing like the ceilings and stuff. And then we'll worry about this. So we'll just leave this empty because I'm not sure how far I actually brought the bathroom out. Well, actually, I think I brought it all the way out to here. And then I had the door like right up against the wall right here. So you could go ahead and get some pillar quartz blocks. One, two, three, four on each side. Well, actually the, uh, the fifth block or the fourth block is going to be the corner. Like that, you could bring this across. As you can see, that corner is covered up, which is okay. So yeah, I had the bathroom door right there and then I just had all of this space as the bathroom. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we could continue bringing up this wall right here with white concrete. We'll just bring it all the way up. Some of the space at the top is going to be completely covered up because we have our ceilings but we'll bring it all the way up for now so it's not that confusing okay so there we go we'll go ahead and do the same at this space as well let me get my potion and then we'll do the same for this wall And this one too. I'm not sure how far I actually brought this wall out, but I'll have to check back at that. Okay, so there we go. This entire wall is also going to be completely covered up. So you could do the same here. And then this window, I had some quartz stairs at the bottom and top to add more detail. Okay, so there we go. That is what the bathroom is looking like as of right now. This is the bedroom. And this is the exterior wall, right? Yeah. Well, either way, that's going to be all like brick and stuff. We'll fill this in as well, even though I think this is going to be covered up with stairs. But as of right now, this is what we got. So mostly everything is patched up. All we have to do is patch up like the roof and stuff. So yeah, that is what we have for now. So let's go ahead and start doing the stairs stuff. Okay, so now for the court stairs for the ceiling, I'll start at this back wall. You just want to make sure to leave one space remaining at the side because we're gonna have some brick right here. So just, we're gonna have another layer. So you can just leave one block of space there. And we're gonna have five blocks of space at total at the top. So you can actually get your blocks of quartz. Make sure to just place five. So normally, I think at the bottom, like the second floor, I had three layers like this. 
but this time we're gonna have five. So you can just push this all the way back until you reach the wall here. Then you can continue using your quartz stairs, bring this all the way across. So like that. We'll do the same with this second layer. And then with the third layer, we're not going to stop it at that wall. We're just going to continue bringing it right across all the way at that wall. So it's like right above this staircase. Then we'll go up another layer and do the same thing again. So right through this little opening and to this wall. Then you can continue bringing this all the way up. And we're just going to have one block of space at the middle. And then you can fill in that space as well. So we're just like covering up all of the wood. That's all we're really doing. Okay, so it just follows along all of that. And then on this side, we'll start over here, completely fill in all of... Or like completely cover up all of this wood. All right, there we go. So that's looking good. Oh, I brought it over too far. Make sure to leave one block of space over here. Okay. So there we go. We have that all patched up. Let's go to the bathroom. We're going to continue bringing the quartz in here as well. And once again, since we do have that window, we're just going to have one block of space with... Or like one block of quartz at the top. So in here we have five. In here, we're just going to have one. So let's bring this up like two more layers. Then lined up with the window. Whoops. We're going to have one layer like that. Then our court stairs are going to be going straight back down. We want to leave two spaces at the bottom. Okay, so there we go. That all worked out. We covered it all up. All up. <laughs> what the heck? All right. So there we go. Now, all we really have left to do is the fireplace. So real quick, before we actually do the fireplace, you wanna make sure to have fire spread off so you don't burn the house down. So if you don't know how to do that, um, let's see, if you're playing on PlayStation, you just like go to this area here. So you can see my name, um, yeah. <laughs> So you go to the host options. So I, for PS4, I just press the pad button or for like PlayStation 3, you could press the select button and then for whatever it is for Xbox and stuff. And then you just want to make sure fire spread is unselected. So it doesn't have a check mark. I actually need to turn that off as well. So there you go. Now, if you do have fire, it's not going to burn your house down. So we can start doing the fireplace. Okay, so now for the fireplace, you're going to want to grab some granite, bricks, brick stairs, iron bars, nether rack, and flint and steel. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is delete two layers of the dark oak wood planks at the bottom from the floors. And for now, let's just use bricks, and then we'll add the little texture of granite afterwards so we have two layers of brick right there at the bottom then i'm just going to completely fill in this wall with a solid wall of brick and then the center is going to be where the fireplace is and it's only going to be one like a one block fireplace so it's really small but i think it still looks pretty good it's going to be lined up with the fireplace on the exterior so we want to go right in the middle. This right here is where we're going to have the fireplace. And then as you can see, we have some brick right there from the exterior. And I guess we could delete all of this as well. Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't. I don't think I did this. I think I just... Oh, yeah, we can't do it on either side. I think I just left it like that. And then I had this as netherrack and then... Wait, I think I deleted these two. No, I didn't because... Wait, why is that so low? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you put... Let's see. If you put quartz... 
or uh, if you put the stairs like that on the exterior of the fireplace or like of the chimney if you put stairs like that make sure not to do that right here so i'm gonna just cover that up i forgot because we need to cut out some holes here so i'll just completely cover it up like that so we don't see any of the interior sorry about that i was i was really confused just trying to figure out why that was happening so yeah in here we just want to patch that up with some brick like that We'll do the same up here as well. And then I'm just gonna have that caught on fire and then iron bars. And then up at the top, I'm just gonna have a brick stair like that, upside down. Maybe we could have it one block higher. Maybe not, I don't know. I think where it was was fine. So, uh, whoops. So like that, that should be good. Then, what I did was added some stairs as a little design on this wall. So let's see, I think I deleted two here and then two at the top, so four in total. Then I have regular stairs and upside down. I actually think I did, it at, I did it at the bottom, my bad. So all the way at the bottom, just cut out four like that and replace it with stairs. And then here we're going to cut out two, replace it with stairs again. We'll do the same on this side, and then here. Okay, now I could go up another layer and do the same thing again, as well as here. All right, and then I believe I did it in the middle as well, but I might have had three here. I'm trying to remember because I don't re I don't actually remember this part. But I think that looks good. So three in the middle, then we have two on each side, and then we have one in the corner. So I think that looks good. So it adds a little more detail to the fireplace. Then what I did was switch to my granite and just randomly placed some granite everywhere. So it adds a little more texture. So you can just put it on each space where we have still left like a block of court or like a full block of stone or of brick so like this and let's have maybe one more there and maybe one in the corner so i think that should be good and i believe that's all i really did for the fireplace is that even why does it look so weird yeah we're good so yeah that's all i did for the fireplace so that's the master bedroom we could have like the bed right there and that is actually going to be it for part 5 on how to build this suburban house. So in part 6, we'll be doing the furnishings. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for part 5 on how to build this suburban house. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 6. Later. Keep my head up when I act, head up that's a fact, never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track, keep my head up staying strong, always moving on, feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along, push myself to be the best, die with no regrets, live with every breath, see my message start to spread, and I have some